bring me my morning pages. Today is 18, but <laughs> that's where my mind's at. Today is day 18 of morning pages. <sighs> Last time I talked about it, age stuff with the number 17. Today is day 18. A lot of stuff happens when you turn 18. You become an adult, essentially, which is funny now that I think about it. Just thinking back to how I wasn't an adult at 18. I think maybe that we could, we can achieve that status, but there's a lot that I did not know at that age, but... 17, 18, that's around the time I got into writing. I didn't like it before that. I didn't see a point to it. I guess I was one of those people who didn't really need it. I didn't really have many thoughts when I was younger. I was just outside playing and doing whatever I wanted to do. But around 17, 18, stuff starts happening to you. Um things come up that you need to express and I found writing to be a nice place a nice safe space to express myself in a way I was unable to feel safe expressing myself in verbally I guess I also by writing about things and rewriting things you could really refine what you're trying to say in a way that I think it's pretty cool. So this is about the time of the age. I don't want to go every age now, but I don't know. These numbers, since we're going higher up in the morning pages, the higher numbers have more relevance to me. From zero to 17, essentially, I was just kind of running around, living a much more blissful life. <laughs> These are the ages where the pain set in. Um, so yeah, um, I wonder sometimes if if I'll get to a point where I won't have to write or won't feel a need to write. Um, a lot of people who become obsessed with things, I'm watching this movie called The Dawn Wall about a mountain climber or a rock climber who's climbing the dome, half dome, I believe, and um, essentially there at one point he gets into a breakup and he goes and climbs this wall for um, to deal with his pain, so I don't know, sometimes I wonder if I'm just doing that with writing, but I'm also, I've also evolved my writing process throughout the, throughout almost 20 years of doing it, or 20 years of doing it essentially, so. I don't know, that's enough of that. This is going to get too long. Um, I, have to, I have to get going here. Um, I should know the, the date. It's July 7th. All right, here we go. My pen. Done. Page one. Page two. Page three. I realize you see them when I'm writing. I don't know what the point is to do that. It's just kind of like a joke now for me to show you the pages when I'm done. It's like look look at my look at my good work. Aren't you proud of me? Aren't you proud of me, Mom and Dad? Aren't you proud of me, friends, who would make fun of my writing? This is what I do with my life. This is what I do with my life. Cool, so that's done. Um, that was day 18. 
wrapped up. Um, that was a cool journal entry. A lot of times my mind will bounce from topic to topic to topic to topic because there's a lot to talk about. I can talk a long time about a lot of stuff. Um, but rather than skipping around, playing leapfrog with the issues of my mind, I stayed on one topic essentially and extrapolated that deeper and deeper and deeper until I got to some nice a few chunks of wisdom out of that whole three pages there was probably a few sentences that were pretty cool and that had some sort of um some something that i would go back and look at so so that's one thing i want to say i guess it's um these pages aren't meant to be to be writing amazing art or anything like that they're just getting you to write most writers you know they write and write and write and write and write and they only use a little bit of that stuff um, I remember Anne Lamott she has a memoir called Bird by Bird it's a writing book and I remember her talking about writing so many pages and not using them and her first draft is always like really bad and just indecipherable and all the stuff that she said I don't know if she said indecipherable but essentially she said the first draft is kind of a mess and I didn't really I think a lot of time for me I I avoided writing by trying to get it right so if that makes sense so it's like you're working towards perfection and during that process, you're trying to save time, but you're actually not saving time. I mean, to, to write three pages takes 25 minutes. Um, to perfect a page could take days, um, weeks maybe. So um, I think writers have to write, I think. And I think I avoided that. I think I'm coming, I'm, I'm accepting that. I I mean, I didn't all the time. There were times where I, where I had spurts where I would write and then spurts that I wouldn't write. But this is just really, and again, every writer is different. So it's like whatever their process is, is their process. As long as they get it done, that's all that really matters. Um, so if none of this stuff is working for you, don't do it. I don't. I don't say tell everyone they have to do this, but for me, it seems to be something that I'll be doing for the rest of my life. It's just become that, um, it's just become like a really cool thing for me. I like it on like a lot of different levels and I feel like it gets me, it gets me writing and it gets me more in tune with myself. And, you know, if you're, if you're working on yourself, if you want to, really peel back the layers if you want to let stuff go if you want to get down to the bottom of some things in order to then step into your creative projects and write from a place of freedom that's what these pages are doing for me um i i got a job working for the newspaper out here in reno uh, uh, two months ago i wrote two stories um, just sent the editor to my second one, and then I started talking to him about doing a humor piece, or humor column, essentially, and um, I've always wanted to have a humor column, and we talked about it a little bit on the phone, and I wrote a piece, I just, I didn't know what I was going to do, he said he wanted it to be relevant to Reno, so it's like, well, what do I do, just make fun of this town, or, but I was like, I don't really want to do that. So I had to start finding stories and I had to kind of switch my mind into more of like the humor mindset, which is where my mind really lives. I've been living inside the kind of a painful reality for a while just because of some, <laughs> just because of um, a breakup and some other and loss of a friend who I don't know, just a whole bunch of drama, essentially, um, that kind of put me in a space and just a lot of things so i'm getting back to that humor mindset but anyways when i wrote the piece it took me a while to think about what i wanted to write but when i actually wrote it i wrote it in maybe 30 minutes and it's essentially done but there are definitely things i need to go back and refine and sharpen but it felt really good to write a piece and just like flow just flow it out of me so that's how it seems to be working for me as far as these pages go um 
getting a lot of yawns out, that's good. I need to move that energy. Um, so that's it. It's Friday, as I always say. This is now the third Friday, I think. Yeah, third Friday. It's a 30 days feel. It's a long time. So, but we're almost there, 12 days, and then you'll never have to watch these again. And you could go back to scrolling whatever you scroll on Instagram and watching on YouTube. And um, yeah, we're almost done. See y'all later. Have a good Friday. TGIF.